I'm Donna Tennis, and I am the principal here at St. Philip. I have been at St. Philip for over 30 years. Hi, my name is Rebecca King, and I teach preschool and kindergarten here at St. Philip. I also am a parent of a third grader. I'm Kim, I teach first and second grade, and this is my second year teaching at St. Philip. Joseph, I'm the resource teacher. I also teach specials, so third through eighth grade art and technology, and I also do our aftercare program. My name is Kelly Shaw, and I teach third and fourth grade homeroom. I also teach kindergarten through eighth grade music. My name is Douglas Markworth. I've been around teaching for 45 years, and I still love doing it. It's lot exciting and a lot of fun. My name is Rodney Coots, and I teach um, junior high language arts and history. It has to be the people. Uh, I've been at St. Philip a very long time and I just love the families, the students, the congregation members, the teachers, just all working together. I love that St. Philip is a warm, welcoming community. I can be creative. I can um, have my students think outside the box and uh, explore different avenues of a subject. The fact that we get to loop with our kids and the opportunity to teach the same kids for several years in a row, I feel like it is great for relationships. I love my colleagues. We uh, are all collaborative and people are willing to learn from each other and work with each other. always known that I've wanted to teach in a Lutheran school, uh, the opportunity to share my faith, and just to see that faith um, that is developed and grow in our students, just those opportunities to model to one another, to pray together, to worship together. Um, I just believe that sets such a firm foundation on which um, students can grow and learn and achieve. The benefits of a Christ-based learning environment is that we have many opportunities to demonstrate what it looks like to live our lives as Christ followers every day and also to guide students in their character development. Uh, one of my best memories is working with uh, one of the students and trying to help them learn how to do algebra. And all of a sudden, you can see the light just coming on with the students. And all of a sudden, says, oh, I mean, that's how you do it. And it's like, yes, finally you get it. There's been a lot of moments, but just, I mean, yesterday, even um, during physical education, a student got hurt and like everyone stopped what they were doing and just came to her to make sure that she was okay. So like all the students were just so loving and caring about With the small class sizes, we can give individual attention uh, and people are can feel safe here uh, and wanted and valued as individuals. The community, the atmosphere that, you know, a lot of our students have been coming here. We have several students that have been here since they were two years old who are getting ready to graduate or going to be graduating soon and that we all know each other and look out for each other and take care of each other. And, you know, we have that great community aspect where even students who have graduated long since will still come back and help out for things and visit things. And again, that's a nice thing that you probably don't get a lot of other places.